listening? Hello. If you've never seen the flying Karamazov brothers, they're a crazy band of jugglers from the West Coast who will juggle anything. Phone books, sickles, chopped liver. So what happens if you cast these guys in Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors as Chicago's Goodman Theater is done? Just watch. What we're attempting to do is reinterpret Comedy of Errors as Shakespeare would have preferred to have seen it done if he could have hired the talent. The cast of the Comedy of Errors includes a belly dancer, an aerialist, unicyclists, tightrope walkers, a world champion twirler, a clown by the name of Avner the Eccentric, jugglers by the name of the Flying Karamazov Brothers. It's not really the best written play in the world, and so we've, we've tried to uh, patch up some of the holes with exciting visuals. The Comedy of Errors was Shakespeare's first play. As the program notes for this production say, the plot has something to do with twins and juggling. At the heart of the cast, the flying Karamazov brothers, who don't fly, aren't Russian, aren't brothers, and have never acted together in a play with a director and everything. I know. I've thrown... Okay, pile up. Throw. Thrown. Karamazov's Howard Patterson and Paul Magid play one set of twins. Randy Nelson and Sam Williams play the other set. The Penny Whistle. Also known as the Tin Whistle. The fifth Karamazov, Tim First, plays Shakespeare. Randy said something. Master, I'm here. Master, I'm here. Entered in bond for you. <laughs> Casting the Karamazov brothers as the leads in a Shakespeare play was the idea of Gregory Mosher, artistic director for Goodman Theater. Using these guys is not an aberration. To me, it's right. The play is a comedy. You need to cast funny people. You need to cast entertainers. This is not Hamlet we're talking about here. The cast of 19 is made up almost entirely of new vaudevillians. Many polish their skills as street performers or circus performers. Director Robert Woodruff says that's the innovative thing about this production, the casting of performers, not actors. This play's been done often uh, as a circus, per se, but it's always been done with actors who uh, have picked up a few tricks along the way who they've been taught. But we're doing it uh, with performers who uh, we're teaching Shakespeare, essentially. Mark Sackett has worked as a rope walker, fire eater, juggler, and acrobat. Sophie Schwab was a world champ baton twirler in 1971 and recently performed in Barnum on Broadway. Avner Eisenberg is best known by his clown name, Avner the Eccentric. We're trying to take what should take about six months and cram it into three weeks of rehearsal. We're uh, not just rehearsing the play, but creating a whole... Uh, kind of a world that uh, that the play takes place in. We just changed it. Oh, okay. So I'm not the second change, I'm the first change. Did I tell you, was, I didn't tell you it was the second? No. Oh, well, good. Then everything's the same. Okay. Even though it's different for everyone else. Right. The world that the play takes place in is a crazy world, full of mistaken identities, misunderstandings, and juggling. Lots of juggling. Karamazov Randy Nelson says they're simply illustrating Shakespeare's text. You know the definition of juggling? It's, um... Deception, trickery, sorcery. Um, in Act One, Scene One, uh, one of the Antipholuses describes this place that we're going to as a town full of nimble jugglers who deceive the eye. That's where the whole town comes from. It's out of Shakespeare's text. got their first look at the show in mid-January. 
I want them just to laugh hysterically till they can't stop and just to have their stomachs ache from having laughed so much. I don't think they'll be able to stay on their feet for very long. It's going to just knock, knock everyone's socks off. The grand purpose of a Shakespearean comedy, says Abner the Eccentric, is entertainment. He begins two hours of entertainment. You come not home because you have no stomach. You have no stomach, having broken your fast. But we that know what is to fast and pray are penitent for your default today. Oh, stop in your wind, sir. There's a section in the program, I don't know if you've seen the program, but it's funny. Uh, having said that, this section won't be funny, but it's, there's one section that goes, famous quotations from a comedy of errors. And of course, that section of the program is blank. There are no famous quotations from this play. It was written, it was his first play, it was written to have fun with. Like it? Well, you can see the real thing at the Goodman Theater through February the 27th. Coming up, a bankrupt business fights back.